Good evening, I'm Modi Apparatus and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Big Pharma. This is a simulation business strategy game with a little bit of puzzle elements to it uh, as far as fitting things into your little warehouses and uh, operations here. Basically this game tasks you with uh, creating a pharmaceutical company and uh, using it to get rich basically for the most part here uh, and maybe save the world in the, in the process we could cure some diseases and that kind of thing and also get rich you know perfect perfect combination anyways I've played through the tutorial of this so I'm a little bit familiar with the game uh, but I haven't played very much in the uh, main game here so we're gonna start a brand new game here and we'll explain some things as we go uh, I did all the tutorials as I mentioned it doesn't look like I can save my progress here but we will go with beginner here the very first one for beginner is to earn a total revenue of one million dollars. Is that right? That 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 memory zero that is? Yes, it is. I have trouble with zeros when they're in a row like that. I need commas. Come on, come on, guys, commas. Uh, and uh, within ten years is the deadline for that. So I don't think that's too impossible here. And basically, we'll just click this, and it'll start us on a random thing. Now we need to pick our chief executive officer, Leonard, uh, Jenny, Chan, Sasha, Orion, Penny, Barclay. Or Tess. Uh, I kind of like Leonard for our first playthrough here. Why not? Uh, and then we need to name our company right off the bat. Big decisions to make. I don't know. Let's uh, go with uh, what is what is this guy's going to name? It's going to be like it's going to be like Apple Bomb and Associates. That's what that's that's this guy's kind of like uh, M.O. I think it's going to be like something like that. Apple Bomb and Associates. This is Dr. A Leonard Applebaum, and uh, he is the CEO of Apple Bomb and Associates. All right. So incorporated. For Apple bomb and bomb bomb whatever and this is our factory as you can see the layout uh, is lots of rooms we can buy to expand our operation as needed um, there is uh, every single layout as far as I've seen so far every single time you join a game there is a random set of layouts that I can give you so you don't get the same layout every single time and uh, we're gonna pause it here I don't think it matters right now because I don't have anything made just yet um, and then basically uh, we'll build machines there here's basically our inputs and outputs we can uh, set up these to import things, and this is going to be our, one of our outputs here, or we can do either one of these. So this is kind of actually a nice setup. We got two inputs, one output, or whatever we want to work at here. Um, and basically, the goal is to just import things and get rich. We, our goal is ten or one million dollars, well, six zeros. That's right. Before January first, twenty twenty-five or twenty. Yeah, twenty. We have ten years. Okay. So there's a lot of things on this. I should mention a little bit the de developers of the game. It is from Positech Games, which uh, produced uh, uh, Democracy 3, which I played on my channel for President's Day. Uh, and I'm a big fan of those kind of like strategy kind of games. Uh, so I tried that one out a bit. I played a little bit of it. I'm not very good at that one. This one I think I'm a little bit better at. I understand a little bit better just from playing the tutorial, but I haven't played enough on it to even understand what's going on yet. But we'll find out things as we go here. So from what I've seen here, uh, this is our main production tab here. There's ingredients, and each ingredient we discover has different uh, things it can cure. So, for instance, we can do a removes warts uh, ailment here, or we can do hypertension. Uh, looks like hypertension is going to be the more valuable thing here. The cost on this is just a two dollars more, but it actually gets us twenty eight dollars more out of the bank here. So we're definitely going to want to go with this, I think, as our first thing. Um, and basically, the way this game works is that you'll set up one of these to import. So let's click this one here, and we'll set it to import with our uh, re reacted barium liquid here and that'll be our uh, main ingredient here and we basically just need to manufacture things by increasing it now as you can see from the ingredients here it starts you off with these stats for each ingredient so right now it increases blood pressure which is a bad thing for someone who's uh, got hypertension but um basically it starts with just basically no no active no active ingredient and we have to do processes to it to raise that up to active and the way we do that is at the, at the outset here. The way we do that is through uh, evaporation and uh, evaporation and dissolving. So we do either we can decrease the concentration by one with a dissolver, or increase it by one with a concentration uh, evaporator here. And because our uh, current state of this is uh, below where it needs to be, we're definitely going to want to add some evaporators on there. Now the ultimate goal for this right now we're getting we can get a maximum of 128 per thing here. So we want to like make it as simple as possible to maximize profit because each one of these machines costs money as you can see because this one costs uh, 600 a piece and the process costs ten dollars to run it uh, so it's going to eat into our profits every single time we add another machine to this but if we can boost it up to the right amount of efficiency here we can get the most money possible for this particular drug 
Uh, increasing the concentration also increases the side effects though, which are be gonna be have negative effects on. For this one in particular, because I don't think increased blood pressure and hypertension are good things to have together. Uh, I don't know if the game is uh, gonna recognize that or not, but we'll see. So basically we have the ways we can interact with it right now at the outset here, we can have belts, which basically move the product from one thing to another. And then we have the machines here, which we have to actually unlock these things through the research tab here. So there's a whole tech tree involved in this, like many games out there. And basically we have to hire scientists, which cost money per day, and they will in investigate uh, el 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 oh, aglomerators, aglomerators. All right, I'm going to butcher every single technical term is ionizer. I got that one. Ionizer or agglomerator. Glomator. Glomerator. Glomerator. Agglomerator? Glomerator. That's, that's easy. That's not tough. Uh, okay, so agglomerator is the other thing we can research. And these basically, uh, one agglomerator counts for three of these, basically, because it does, as you can see, there is, it says increases con concentration by three. Uh, and also each particular ingredient as we level them up uh we can look at the cures here and so we're we have the hypertension right here uh hypertension can upgrade into treats angina uh so we can increase this to here if we get it to right here the requirements so as you can see before on the ingredients tab here the uh hypertension currently is at a between a 9 and a 13 for its active range and its current uh, state, we'll find out. Right now, it looks like it's an eight, I think is what's got overall here. And in order to get that to hypertension, we need to bring it to treat and giant, we need to bring it below six. So we, instead of raising the potency of it, we need to decrease the potency on this one. So uh, I think the best strategy here at the outset though, is to start making money immediately because we're definitely gonna want that. Now, let's start our first drug here. Uh, let's put down some some of these things here. I have the game paused right now, so nothing's coming through just yet. It would normally just keep pulling, pulling through uh, and st and gum up our lines if we did that right now. But we want to get our first basic process in here. So we're going to do an evaporator, which is going to increase the concentration by one. And as you can see, this machine here has an input and an output. It's so a green is input, red is output. Pretty simple. And we're going to go like, hmm, we need to do some planning here because we're going to need to take it. We're going to take it out of right. Ooh, how do we want to do this? All right, we can take it out of right here. We're definitely gonna need to add another shop here at some point with this by by this other room here. Uh, very soon, actually. We have the money now, we could just do it. Um, but let's start making some money here first. We'll get our first process in, into line here. Uh, let's do this. Let's go like this. And then we'll throw in a uh, makers. Now the maker, the last step of the process is the pill printer. This is actually gonna take our ingredients and actually manufacture it into pills. Uh, this pill printer adds $20 of value, it says on there. The process for it, first of all, costs $2,000, and the process cost costs $20. So it increases the combined value by 20 it also costs 20 right now to run it. Now, we can increase the efficiency of these things through research as well. As we hire scientists, they will give us research upgrade points, in which we can upgrade our machines to make them cost less in their processes as we need it. Uh, so, the other thing we need to th start thinking about right away here is that uh, the rea reacted barium liquid requires, as you can see, the requirements are to have negative or to zero to six concentration, and then also we need to upgrade it with an ionizer. So we actually need the specialty machine in order to upgrade it. Uh, so we'll show how that works in a minute here. First thing I'm going to do here is just because, well, let's wait to hire the scientists till we're actually making money here. Let's get our first drug out of the market here before we do anything else. So let's go with our first thing, which is going to be an evaporator. We're going to bring the concentration up on it. Um, let's see, how can we do this? We might actually we might want to, well, I was going to say we could do a couple of these, but each step in the process is going to cause it to uh, be more expensive to make it. So we're actually just at the start here, we're just going to make it like this. It's going to come down the belt here, into the machine here, into the machine there, and then it's going to exit out. So now we can unpause and we can start making that money. So. Basically, this machine will run uh, every day this machine runs. Actually, every every movement makes this one day in the game. So every day it goes forward by one. So as you can see, if we have 10 years to do this, we have 3,000 turns, basically. Um, 3,650 turns, to be precise. Um, I'm not counting leap years in there either. I probably should. I don't know if the game, game handles that. I'm sure it does. They have a nice attention to detail on these things. So our first drug is going to market here. Now let's take a look and see what's going to be here. So we got the hypertension in range now by doing the one evaporator on it. It's going to be worth 128. 
and it's a total cost of 20 plus 20 is uh, 40 plus the ingredient costs us 39. You can actually see all this information when going to the company tab here in a moment after we name our drug here. And then we, the best part, my favorite part about this game is that we get to name our drug. So we have the Apple Bomb Blood Pressure Ease, and that will not do. Uh, we need to, this is, so this is to relieve hypertension and blood pressure. And it's, it's okay, so it relieves hypertension, but increases blood pressure. I don't think this is a good combination. We need to work on decreasing these side effects at some point here. Uh, it looks like if we drop it below eight, somehow we can actually get it to remove this side effect, but we'll have to worry about that later. We're gonna call it, uh, uh Hemo Lobide. I'm just making up words here, and that's how I do it. Hemoflobide, because it makes your blood flow better. Yeah, it works perfectly. It just sounds good. All right, so there's our drug here. It's going to market here. We get current profit of 80. Cost on that is 30 plus 38. Combined value is 148. Minus the cost, 80 bucks at the end of the day. Very good. Now, the other thing that depends on this is how well it's selling. It has four sold per month here, so it's just telling us how efficient we're our, our getting here. Now, these certain, certain drugs have a uh, expectancy for like a, a curve basically so you can see like right here this tells us let's pause it again here because i don't want to run in the background here because it's just taking up turns here so if we look at the redacted barium it shows us that the ingredient uh it's basically the demand for it's going to go up and then it's going to go back down again so it's kind of got a nice uh, sine wave going on here overall it's going to be pretty uh high i think that's what this is showing here for sure um i th think that's what it's showing here so this is the net demand right now. It's at 112 and uh, saturation, how much of the supply capacity is being used. So we have plenty of supply and lots of demand here uh, is basically what this is showing here. If we get these two balanced out, it's going to basically probably drive the price up. Actually, if we have the, them two balanced there, uh, that'll be like maximum price, basically. Um, OK, so now we, yeah, we got production going on. We're earning seventy nine dollars a day, basically, currently. Uh, on our current profit here, we can actually, I think we can afford to hire the scientist now. So let's hire the research scientist here and we'll hire one. Let's hire a guy. We'll hire one. He costs 3000 to hire, which is kind of expensive, but uh, we'll hire him to start uh, researching the ionizer. So he's going to get working on that. It's going to take him three months to, oh man, it's going to take him forever to actually research that. Uh, I don't know if adding more guys will increase it. Uh, it might. I don't know if we want to spend money on that though necessarily. The other thing we can start researching too is cures. Uh, we can start researching the next thing up. We also have the removes warts um, thing here. Let's take a look and see what this is going to get us. It would get us 101. Uh, and it looks like we just needed to use a a uh, dissolver once on it to get to 101. So that actually would be a pretty decent bet. The problem is our current setup does not have much room here for more ingredients. We'd have to run it from here all the way over to here or buy on the second area and run it from here to here. Don't think that's a bad idea, actually. Let's let's spend the money while we have it and we'll start earning back uh, some money on it immediately here as long as we have the production. So we're going to do another simple cycle here for our basic drugs here. Uh, we're going to go. Let's go. Let's leave it paused here. We're going to first of all set this to import the next ingredient that removes warts one, even though it's less valuable overall. Uh, we could get a lot more money also by upgrading this to uh, treats and giant. Let's go take a look at cures here. See what the money. Let's, let's see what the best way of doing this is going to be. So if we get this one upgraded, it's at 274 for treats and gina. And if we get this one with a female con contraceptive, we get it to 285. So this is a huge increase, 101% increase. Whereas this is a 93% increase. So this is a uh, this is really good. If we can get this to level two, now we we'll definitely want to do that as soon as possible. Uh, this requires us to get to 13 to 15, so that's going to take require quite a lot. We're not going to want to do this one until we have the correct research for this. Uh, for that, we'll need the uh, agglom agglomerator uh, researched. So but I think maybe we should hire a second guy on and start him researching that too, because we're going to want both uh, pretty quickly here. And that we we're, we're getting two things done at once. Um, and let's do, should we hire somebody for ingredients too? We can hire somebody for another 5,000 bucks. It's so expensive to hire people, but we can start researching other drugs. Now, one thing we have not encountered yet, oh, there it is, the Gamma Group. Or one of our competitors, the Gamma Group, has relieved a product to compete with our own, the Gamma Hypertension Relief. This product is in direct competition with Apple Bomb Hemophobide, uh, which uh, 
is a problem for us. Now we can take a look and see what their uh, current value on that is 148. Our current value is the same here. So we're doing okay right now and we can't see we can't see how their their product stacks up against ours. They have both the side effect and the active effects, so they can't be doing that much better. Uh, we can take a look at their cash flow, but we can't see what their current profit on that is because we don't know what their production is like. Um, their margin right now is 53%. Their operating margin, our margin is very low because we're spending a lot of money at the outset here, but you know what? It takes money to make money. Um, and we're having a lot of capital expenditures. Look at all that money we've spent. Uh, right now, our profit's only $37. Oh, God, it's sad. We should probably, we probably expanded too quickly here at the outset, but we need to get uh, some uh, We need to get some room in order to do more things here. I think this will pay for itself eventually. Uh, and that's the whole plan here. So let's get this going here now with the correct things. So next we'll do hmm, Okay, one way we could save some money is if we brought this from over here over to here and use the same uh, pill printer to uh, Print both of our drugs It's a little bit risky because it's gonna slow down both things They'll be basically working at half rate. If we want things both working at the full rate We want to have a separate thing. It's gonna cost more money. These th pill printers are not cheap. They're 2,000 bucks and they cost $20 per, prop, per, uh, per run here. So I do think we probably want separate ones. So let's do a second pill printer here and let's put it like right here or here. Yeah, let's not put so many, let's not put so many uh, uh, these into this time. Um, with the dissolver, it works a little differently. So, oh boy, I don't know if this is a good spot, actually. Uh, okay, we'll go like this. Yeah, I guess we'll have to do this for now. We're gonna have to change this around completely when we get to uh, uh, the next level of stuff here, I think, which is unfortunate because that's gonna cost us a lot of money here. Okay, so, uh, and this is backwards. Oh, that's so expensive. That's such an expensive mistake to send this in the wrong way. Yeah, we blew that one. We're gonna have to sell it back. We're only gonna get half the money back, so we just wasted a thousand bucks, just like that. And that's one of the things where it's really important to plan your moves ahead of time, because uh, one little mistake like that can cost you lots of money in this. Which I like about this game. One of the things I do like about this game is it emphasizes planning. Uh, there's there's a little bit of experimentation you can do, but really, if you can predict what's gonna happen with the drugs when you, when you get going on them... Um, am I not importing it? Import, there we go. There it goes. Okay, so we're getting the green stuff in here now. The, uh, let's see, what is this? Is it, what is it called? I wanna see what it's called here. The Kua, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Kua Pomacin oil. All right, fine. All right, now we can take a look and make sure this is getting into the right area. Okay, so actually this is a pretty valuable drug here. It's at 101. Now getting it down to the, actually at a certain point it's gonna start causing headaches, but this is basically removes warts with no side effects right now. That's pretty great. Um, so it's a pretty powerful drug, and it's a remove wart drug, and it's ready to go. So we're ready to uh, see what this one is here. We're ready to name it the Apple Bomb Wart Crusher. Ah, oh, that sounds, uh... So what are some wart brands? Oh man, there's like Compound W, um, Apple Bomb Compound, uh, A. I don't know what I like that. That's too, that's too on the nose for the other one here. We'll go with like... Uh, like derm, dermatology, dermo, dermo, dermo loaf, dermo loaf. All right, dermo loaf. This our new, our new uh, wart remover allows you to start loafing instead of worrying about your warts. Dermo loaf. Buy it now at anywhere drugs are sold. So we got two things going on here. Current profit on this one's only fifty six because the the drug is much uh less in demand here right now looks like uh, let's take a look and see if we can see the uh, patterns for this one if demand is expected to increase at all for this not really pretty 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 even let's see how our guys are doing as far as researching goes We've got two months remaining three percent done this guys they're about even here so we can't we can't like pit them against each other not yet anyways we could we can maybe be able to get the production faster if we start like manipulating our people into to, to, you know little little uh, internal games like that uh, anyways, we beat them to market at least on the wart remover, so that's actually huge for us. Once they release theirs, we're gonna have to take a little bit of a profit hit. Uh, it's gonna right now we're trading at 78 on that one. Normally it was 80, I think it started at. So uh, our value is down just a little bit. And then their operating profit on this thing is they don't have a lot of cash expenditures. I don't know how they get their things done. 
they must be using the same machine for both things. And our our fact that we have this purchase twice here now, this is a very expensive purchase. So we're gonna have lots of cash at the outset. We're gonna be, it's gonna take us a while before we get to be uh, profitable again here. We took a lot of capital expenditures there. Um, but we're making money. Profit is going up. Yes, yeah, slowly. Uh, we're at 33% operating margin though. So that's pretty good. Um, and it'll get better as we increase our things here. We can actually get better at this. Now, uh, ingredients. I was going to hire another guy for this. He costs 5000 at the outset. Is the only reason I was going to wait on that. Um, and we don't quite need to know, research anything yet. This is going to do body response. This will do pain medication. Oh, this is a catalyst, though. We might want to research that. Uh, catalysts are important for when you get to like the level 3 drug. So, uh, as you can see in our cure section here, each drug, we probably can't see any of them yet. Okay, so we can't actually see... The, the third tier yet, but each each drug actually has three tiers here. I think we need to unlock one of them before we get to see what the third tier is. But they almost always involve some type of catalyst in order to get that done. So it might be a good idea to start researching that. How long is this going to take? Uh, it's going to take two of them. Oh man, that's going to be expensive. It's going to be 100 bucks a day plus 10,000 to hire them. That's going to tap us out for money. We need to keep a little bit of operating in income or a little bit of operating cash cash in hand so we can do uh, changes to our operation because it's going to cost get us a get us expensive as soon as we try to get to tier two here for our things and actually we're going to be getting to tier two very very soon so things are about to get very expensive here we'll get the money while we can here and then we need to start thinking about what the best way forward is going to be uh to uh increase our uh profitability here so let's speed this along here and get to the point where our research is done and then we'll pause it as soon as we do so this will get the research is just about done, I'm sure. There it is. 93. Six days left. So six turns left here. We're in May 2015. We're catching up to today, actually. Very, very quickly. All right. So now we can pause it again. here. Now we need to start thinking about production for our next phase of the ingredients here. So which is going to be easier to get to? Let's take a look at our drugs one more time here. We have uh, the apple bomb hemophobide, which we can upgrade into treats angina. And uh, what this can do is we need to decrease the, we need to actually do the uh, opposite of what we're doing right now if we want to go that route. Um, so what can we do? What can we do? Right now it's at a nine. We need to bring it down by three points. And then we also need to upgrade it with an ionizer. So that's going to take at least two ionizers to get this thing done. Ah, boy, okay. So I think we'll want to do it, though. Now, one thing we could do is pull this off the line here before it goes into the evaporator. We can actually make a little detour for some of the ingredients to go this direction. And then we'll bring it over to a second process here and do the, all the steps we needed for the to upgrade this to uh, the uh, treats in China, and then we'll bring it back into here. We could do the same thing over here. Now this one, what's it going to require? Let's see what the best way forward is going to be. This one requires it to get, get to concentration of 13 to 15, and right now it's at 11. It's at 17, actually. So let's take a look here quick. Um, it's not quite. We need to get it down by one point, actually. So that's actually not too bad. We dissolve this one more time and actually we could actually afford to do this um, anyways for this because that will it, it'll decrease the the uh, it'll decrease the concentration of this one but we could actually do it one more time safely and still have both drugs going at the same time and I think it's good to have diversification in your, your portfolio here so let's do this let's add another dissolver in here it's gonna get it cramped in here now this is what I mean about being a puzzle game here Oh, if we put it in there, though, it's going to block us from doing our thing from over here. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Decisions to make. Now, which direction we want to go here? Let's just take a decision right now. Let's say it here quick. Uh, for the upgrading of this one, uh, cure is here. The cure is of this. Okay, so we, it's, it's going to be 282 versus 285. Oh, this one actually is getting to be better as far as money goes. This one's a better increase. So I think of the two, it's good to have this one going for both. And of this one, we probably just swap out the removes warts for female contraceptive and get rid of our wart line. All right, so what we're going to do is upgrade. All right, let's upgrade this one then. We'll, we'll make a branch off of this. And we'll bring it this way. And this is going to take it into an ionizer. So we need to decrease the concentration on this to zero to six. So we need one ionizer. Oh, 
God, it's going the wrong direction. Oh my gosh. All right, what can we do? Okay, let's go like this. Let's go like this. It's gonna cost us a lot of money at the outset here. But we're gonna get this thing upgraded right away here because that's one ionizer done. And when we get the drugs into there, it'll be down to, right now it's currently at eight and it'll be down after this one, it'll be down to five. So that'll be at the point where it can be upgraded. Then it needs to be upgraded with an ionizer. So we need to put another ionizer on there. And then look like this, right into the next ionizer. No wasted space whatsoever here. And then we're gonna go, uh, bam, bam, bam. All right, so this will bring it back in. They'll use the same printer here. Uh, we can always add on a second printer later if we decide this isn't efficient enough. But uh, let's see if our new plan here works. So we're back to playing. And so some of the ingredients are gonna go this way, some are gonna go this way. We're basically gonna cut our our uh, production for this in half because we're sending half the ingredients over this direction. But um, overall, I think we'll make more money because this is gonna sell for 280. Now the process for these is much more expensive. It costs 35 per, uh, per go on this. But you can see the concentration gets down to two and it is upgrading. Let's pause it quick and make sure it's working here. So it's going, oh no. Oh, we didn't, we, there's one step we didn't consider here. Uh, we need to take this part out because we need to actually we brought the, with the two ionizers together, brought it too low. You can see how low this is get, getting. Um, so this one's at a, oh, we missed it, but it was at a, it was at below the point here we need. We need nine to 13. So we actually, once we get to the ionizer, we need to get it back up in concentration a second time here now. So, hmm. What does this say? Eight. We need eight. Oh boy, I don't know what's going to be the better process here. We could do it with two evaporators, or we could do it like this, and we need to bring it up to three. So we need at least one more. We need at least one L alglomerator. Let's bring it in like this. Is that gonna be enough? That's playing it pretty risky. Oh, let's fix this one quick here. So we keep making money on that at least, and while we figure this one out here, let's play it and let it go here. And we'll put in a belt here so it goes through. And this is removes hypertension. Now it's treats angina. We bring it up by three. And we need to bring it up by one more. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's pause things here. We need to bring it by one more concentration point at least in order to get it to the next level. Now this is turning into a very expensive process. Now the profits I'm making off of this are much lower than they're supposed to be. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Maybe it'll be okay in the end. All right, so that should bring it back into the same process as before. And we just need to put the belt in right here. And that should bring it Oh, What did I do there? Don't do that. Don't fix that. Okay, there you go. All right, let's start it up again here. All right, here it comes. So this brings it down to just one below. We can bring it up to six in order to get the uh, entries in Gina. Okay, now it's barely treating in Gina. It does not increase blood pressure, though, which is great. So no side effects to this one, which is really, really nice. So one more couple turns here and we'll have some money. Let's make sure this is working okay. Yes, it worked off. The handoff went nicely. It should go like one and then one. Looks like, uh, yeah, so it's gonna go one here and this should go next. We're sharing, this should be sharing the roll. There we go. Okay, so it is going one by one. Uh, and we got our first drug for treats in Gina. We have Angina Bane. <laughs> I kind of like that one actually. Um, uh, we're gonna call this one and Angio. Brangelino. Bran Brangelino. Oh, how, how are we gonna spell this one? I'm working in a Brangelina thing here. Brangina. Brangelina. Apple bomb Brangelina. All right, so. We have Brangina Lena as our treats angina. Bran angina Lena. Oh, we, we misnamed that one, I think. Bran angina Lena. That's fine. Okay, fine. It's a little it's a little clunky. We'll workshop that one maybe. Um So I think that's gonna do it for our first episode here of uh, Big Pharma. There is our production right now. Uh, we will be increasing our capabilities next time. We'll have some research points to spend, it looks like. We got at least one here. We'll have a couple to spend. We're we're still making money here. We're still profitable. Well, we spent a lot of money though too at the same time. So our cash flow is bad. Our profit is low because we've been spending so much capital. But this time, now that we've got everything figured out here, 
Uh, we've got a treats and gino and we can just run it for a bit and start to work towards our objective. We're at a total of $18,000 earned so far and we're in the first uh, first year here still. So not too bad anyways. I'll be back for another episode soon. Let me know because this is a new series what you guys think of it. Uh, if you have any tips or ideas for drug names, put those in the comments below. Uh, I don't know what path we're going to be going on next as far as what treats what here. Uh, female contraception is the next one, I think. And that'll be a sticky one to work around as far as names, I think. But uh, I hope you're enjoying the series. And uh, as I said, please support it by giving your likes and comments and feedback if you do want to see more of this. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.